All right, in another whopper, President Biden says there's no there there concerning certain classified documents. Really? Joining me now is the new dynamic duo, Sean Duffy and Dagan McDowell, co hosts of the new show, Bottom Line, debuting Monday, January 23rd, right here on Fox Business. I am the last human being to have them on the set before the show starts. Is that, is that actually true? No, that's not true. You're doing three other things after this. The last on business. <laughs> we, we know we get the Larry Kudlow bump, though. That's why we wanted it on Friday. It was hard because you had an, you had an audience show, and we, oh. we weren't booked yesterday. Oh, no. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I've known Dagan a long time. I've known Sean a, a good bit it, from the Oval Office meetings. All right, before we get started, let's uh, play some sound here. Here's, here's, I think this is the right sound. Here's Joe Biden. I think you're going to find there's nothing there. I have no regrets. I'm following what the lawyers have told me they want me to do. It's exactly what we're doing. There's no there there. Really? Dagan, no there there. He has no regrets. A, a few minutes ago, he was saying how concerned he was about classified information and how he wants to work with the law enforcement agencies, even though the White House didn't really want the Department of Justice to get this out or use the FBI. Right. But no there there. Is this all going to pass away? No problem. Pig potatoes. Um, you know, this stumbling and bumbling, I think that, you know, there's uh, wandering around the stage and there's nobody there to shake hands with. Maybe he thought at some point this would benefit him and or, you know, the lion, it's not cute bragging about being I was a star football player yes. and a truck driver and I grew up in a uh, Puerto Rican community. Uh, over. They found these documents originally before the midterm elections, yep. and they called the White House, and they did not call the Justice Department, and then they went... Key point. And then they... Who did they call? National Archives. The National Archives had to reach out to the Justice Department. So they had never had any intention of this getting out. And the stone starts rolling, and he's in big trouble. And their only, their only strategy, and I will shut up, I swear to God, Sean. <laughs> I just like listening um, to Sean, get used to this. <laughs> the only strategy, and th this is over, is to try and con the press into not digging into it. Well, they're losing the press. And they have they're lost them. The and now they're, dump now they're dumpster diving. I mean, I'm watching CNC. BS and NBC and all of them coming at him, that's a big They're problem. Hard. But Larry, because Larry, th this is a really simple case. This is no, it's not complicated. Um, you, you're not, you don't have the authorization to take classified documents as a vice president. You took them. Right. You had them in your home, open and shut. Here's what I think is happening, though. I wonder if there's a conversation with the Department of Justice. A lot of us don't feel like there's equal justice under the law with this Department of Justice and with the FBI. Maybe he has some, he has some intel that we don't have that it's like, listen, you're going to be fine, Joe. Don't you worry. So he's like, yeah, it's not a big deal. They're not coming after me. Go after Donald Trump. I think that might be the backstory. Well, the double standard is getting more and more apparent. But, you know, to your first point, it, this is simple. You're vice president. You're retiring. So you walk out of the White House and you got your arms full of classified documents because you want to write your memoirs. There's only one place by law that those documents can go, and that is the National Archives. That is all. He cannot take them home because he doesn't have a skiff anymore at home. That's all gone. It has to go to the National Archives. That's why uh, Andy McCarthy's writing in National Review, Biden's grossly negligent, and his Justice Department is grossly negligent. And, that's, and now they're just trying to cover it all up. And, and that's the statute. In, in terms that's it. Of, that is the statute. Period. It has nothing to do you with can, intent. You can read. That's right. You can read. For your, you can read the documents, right, and write your memoirs, no problem with that, but you have to go over to the National Archives or an appropriate skiff to and, do it. And he didn't Andy, do that. And Andy has talked about and written about the standard and the precedent in all this is really Hillary Clinton and the kid glove treatment and the she got off scot-free treatment mm -hmm. that she got under the Obama-Biden Justice Department. So that's what they're really expecting. If, if you're thinking about their defense, Larry, if, if, if you take classified documents from the White House when you were for President Trump and you hauled them down to Mar-a-Lago and you put them in the basement, <laughs> Donald Trump didn't know they were there, that's on you, not on Donald Trump. And they, they might say, listen, the staffers brought these to my home. The problem with that, though, is they didn't stay in the home. 
They were at the, at, at the Biden Center, the Penn Biden Center, and they were moved out of the boxes, and some were found in the House that were marked classified. That on top of the fact that you, that you had people without security clearances go in and actually search for classified documents. There's mistakes and crimes all over right, the map there's here. No, right. We don't, we don't know who these people are. No. We don't know what their clearances were or were not. And I'm still waiting for the FBI to come in because it's a crime scene. That's right. In fact, there's multiple crime scenes. I mean, well, where's the FBI? <laughs> this is what well, they do for a living. Watch, Only they're not being called in. I got to get out. But watch seriously, the, watch the well, FBI leak to the press because you know there's some, some FBI agents. They'll with turn some, some chapped backsides because of what happened. I like that chapped backsides, but you're saying that they'll turn on Biden. Oh yeah. Right. I. You know what? I totally agree with you. They're so singed about all their other sins. That they're probably sick and tired of taking it, and they're going to come back. I like that chapped backsides. They should come on Cudlow. Those uh -huh. chapped backsides. We might have to story. have you back on for chapped backsides anytime. It's a new segment. <laughs> <laughs> Sean and Taken. It's awful. It's an awesome twosome. Catch them on the Bottom Line, the name of the show. It debuts Monday, January 23rd, at 6 p.m. Eastern, right here on Fox Business. It's going to be a great treat. Thank you, kids. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it.